Hey guys, it's Wolf Moto here, back at it again, and we're going to do an install video for my Yamaha R3 track bike, which is just off to the side there, and we're installing a, well, we're installing the new Spark full titanium exhaust. Uh, so we have the muffler here, we have the head pipe, uh, the header here, and a collector, and some little tiny bits, and uh, we're just gonna really just just get right into it. All right. All right guys, so essentially what we have to do is remove the, the full exhaust system uh, off this bike. Uh, to take the muffler off, all we have to do is, it's just one bolt here. Uh, we'll have to take this cover off, with, with, which is just three bolts. And there's one uh, little bolt back here that holds the, the pipe to the mid pipe. And then what we'll also do uh, to make it a little bit easier is we'll also remove this uh, side and bottom fairing. And that'll just give us a little more access to the, the header pipe, which is right behind the fairing. So uh, stay tuned. I'm just going to get those off and we'll be right back. All right guys, so all that's left um, is I have to undo this rear set in order to get to a bolt that's holding a catalytic converter on. Uh, so it's behind, it's just behind the rear set. So we're gonna remove this. And I've already undid the cable for this uh, O2 sensor. So this has to be removed and uh, the clip's on the other side, but I've, I've done that. So you just unclip it and it just, it just snakes, out of, snakes out of here. Uh, might have to undo those, those bolts too, but we'll get that off and then we can unscrew that. Um, and then as well, there's uh, four bolts on the, the header that needs to be removed. They're up here, as you can see. And then the whole system should drop down. So what we've done is we've just, uh, we've removed our rear set and I've just zip tied it up here just out of the way. It's so we can get to this bolt. Um, I've cracked it loose already. Um, and then we'll, we'll go to the other side and we'll get the other bolt off first. So there's one more bolt here that we need to remove. I, I've cracked it loose already, so let's, uh, we'll just take this off. There we go. All right, so that's off. And we're gonna come up here and undo these header bolts. All right, so that should be loose. So now we should be able to undo this bolt. And you'll want to support this, uh, the exhaust, because uh, it'll just fall once this is out. And we've already undone, un remember to undo this O2 sensor cable so you're not stretching that cable. So I'm just gonna hold this exhaust. This and it should just fall out. There we have it. This is a heavy sucker, and I'll be glad to get rid of this, especially for the track. This thing weighs a ton. All right, guys. So we're gonna put the O2 sensor into the new Spark exhaust. Uh, what's nice is they give you this little uh, bung adapter, and it's because this the size hole that you need for uh, tuners is whatever size that is, and the size for the O2 is a lot smaller, so they give you this, so we're just gonna screw this in. Oops. I wanna be careful, you don't wanna cross thread it. So 
you just want to make sure you don't want to twist this cable too much. Uh, this is sensitive equipment. Just undo this. And so that's your, your sensor. You just want to be careful of that. You don't want to smash that or anything. And make sure you get the washer with it, which is right there. There we go. Alright guys, so we got our O2 sensor here screwed in, so that's uh, nice and tight. And now we're just going to do a little bit of pre-assembly uh, with the, the header. So essentially these go together uh, like that, like so. And you can just do this loose, uh, because what we're going to do is we're going to mount this onto the bike. Uh, so you put this on, and this guy on. And then you're going to bolt that to the bike. Uh, use the, the bolts are already there and you're going to use the existing nuts uh, to tighten those onto, onto the bike. So same thing on this side. Like so. And then after that, you're going to attach these springs uh, to these hooks. And then they're going to go into one of these, uh, one of the two holes there. So two for, two for each one, two springs for each one. And they're going to they're going to hold this whole thing together, uh, along with the bolts onto that. And then after after you get this bolted on to the bike, um, you'll want to put this collector uh, collector onto here. So two to one. And uh, the the way you put it on is this way, so that this hook uh, can match up to the hooks over here, because you're going to attach two springs uh, as well to that collector. All right, so let's go and do that. Uh, so one more thing, uh, you want to make sure you check these copper gaskets. If they fall out, you can put a little bit of grease on the back side just to, to hold them in place. Uh, but you want to inspect it, make sure they're not uh, ripped up or, or burnt out. Uh, these ones are pretty good. This bike only has uh, 6,000 kilometers on it, so it's not too bad. Um, if they are, you can go to your Yamaha dealer and uh, get them replaced. Alright guys, so this should just fit up there. Like so. On. And what you can do is you can put a bolt on uh, just to hold that. We'll just go hand tight for now. And just the guy on. There we go. And when you're tightening these down, uh, make sure you, you do them evenly. So you're not going to tighten one of them all the way down. You're just going to put it a little snug, hand tight, and just kind of evenly, evenly tighten these all down. There we go, should be good. All right guys, so we've put the springs on. Um, we decided to put them on the bottom on this side and one on the top and one on the bottom on this side. 
just to uh, avoid it, the spring touching the exhaust or, or a bolt. Just figure out which way is best. Uh, but I think that this way works. And so all you got to do is uh, grab a set of pliers and just pull the spring onto the, onto the hooks there. All right, guys, so we got all our uh, four springs in, uh, two on each one. And uh, they're a little tight, but uh, we just used a, a little metal hook to pull them in, uh, or some pliers, uh, and, and they'll go in. And then I also um, rechecked these bolts, all four of them, and snug them just a little bit more, and uh, so we should be good to go. And now we're just going to put this stainless uh, two-to-one collector on. So what you're going to do is you're just going to squeeze them a little bit. There's a little bit of play. It should be just enough to sneak that guy on there like that. Make sure it's snug in there. There we go. And then you're just going to put two springs on, uh, one on each pipe. And then they're just going to you're going to pull them onto onto that guy. All right. So we've pulled those uh, on there. You'll have to, when you're pulling it, you'll have to hold this pipe uh, steady. Alright guys, so I've put the muffler piece on. Um, I just stuck it up. What I did up here is I, I opted to leave my passenger pegs on. It's just another frame slider for me at the track. Um, so I've left that on. Uh, I wrapped it up in a, a little rag because I was scared that this was going to hit it while I was putting it on. And I recommend doing that if you leave this on. If not, take this off. It's not really needed for the track, but if... If you're running this on the street, um, it does fit. It's close. It's very close, but it does fit. So it's on there, and then now we just have to uh, put these pieces on in this bolt and one final spring, and then we should be good. So I'll sink this in here. There's a little frame uh, piece that uh, it holds on. Actually, I'll show you first. Oops. So it's, it's just this piece right here that it bolts to, and they give you this spacer. Uh, to sneak in there to make up some of the space. Those aluminum spacers. So let me just get this in place. If I can just hold on to it, should be able to sneak it in from the back side. Oops. There we go. There we go. All right, so once you get the bolt in, you thread it through the other side and you put the nut on this side, um, then you can just tighten it up. If I had a longer extension, that would help. But you just hold the nut on the other side with a wrench. And it's close to your O2 sensor, just be careful when you're doing this. There we go. And so after that, all we have to do is uh, sneak this O2 sensor back up through its, its holders up there. And then through to the other side. And then we'll reattach our rear set. And then we should be, uh, we should be good to go. Alright, and also don't forget the, the final spring just holds the uh, the main pipe to the, the collector. There we go. All right, so the exhaust is all buttoned up. The O2 sensor is connected. Um, everything's kind of in place. Uh, just, just remember that you should clean off uh, the whole exhaust because your hands are greasy and dirty from taking off the old one. So I'm just gonna spray a little bit of uh, brake cleaner. So any sort of alcohol, uh, anything that evaporates. And on a rag and then just wipe down the whole exhaust um, and then uh, we'll do a sound clip for you guys. Hey guys, alright so we got the exhaust fully installed and I just want to take a moment to thank Moto D Racing for hooking me up with a great deal. Uh, they're based in New York, so check them out. They're the only uh, distributor for Spark exhausts in North America. So it's MotorDRacing.com. Give them a give them a look. They got a lot of great accessories and all that. And uh, let's turn uh, let's turn this bike on and uh, give you guys a listen. <laughs> 